For this 30 days of whitetail, I'm gonna give you a cool little tech tip on making sure your recovery videos and your photos are as good as you can possibly ask for. One of the reasons I don't mount a lot of stuff is because I just love the photos. I love being able to have good video and I love being able to share that with people more so than show them ahead on the wall. That's just me. But uh, there's certainly things I've learned over the years that help your photos. So I just wanted to give you a couple quick rundowns. Uh, first thing I'd recommend, there's usually gonna be a good side and a bloody side. So choose the side that looks cleanest, gonna make your photos look a little better. This was actually the exit and not a lot of blood came out of this side. So this is the side I'm gonna use for the image. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is, you know, the camera essentially is your eye looking at this image. So anything you put closer to the camera is gonna look bigger. So if you put a bow all the way forward like this, it's gonna look very big down there at the bottom. Um, I typically like to have my bow level with me. It keeps proportions the way you need them. So you can see I've got my bow right here. You can kind of tell the size of the bow and it kind of helps you tell the size of the animal too. Otherwise, I normally like to, to put my bow somewhere right here where it's even with the subject, with your trophy, but it's not something that's taken over the picture. Certainly if I wanted to advertise this new Knock 30, I could put it forward just like that. But I normally do it like this. And when it comes to how you present the animal, normally I'm gonna be right behind the animal. The higher up you are, the more this rack is gonna look small, especially if you hold it back like this. Okay, this is a big deer. This is a really nice buck, but if this is your photo like this and his head's back, people aren't really getting to see the horns. Uh, and you know, you also have two different layers, this rack and your clothing so close together, right? So the other thing to keep in mind is your height. You can see here as I actually put this deer to you guys, very, very different, right? Than me just being like, okay, here's a cool buck back here. Um, the other thing is yourself. So if you're gonna sit up tall like this, hold this buck here, you're gonna really, you're gonna be the focus as how high you are and you're gonna take a lot of focus away from that rack. So we've got a clean side, we've got the tongue, put away and what I will do is I'm gonna tuck the legs just like this and I will rock the deer forward just a little bit and I put my knee right behind the body and then what I'll do is I'll pick that deer up so that its head is level or normally I like the rack about level with the top of my head and I can bring the bow into the subject just like this and I can say to the side. Now one of the things you gotta keep in mind is what makes your buck different? One of the things that's really cool about this buck is this really cool split G2 back here. So changing the angles and maybe bringing that head forward a little bit more like that, trying to keep your hands behind the head, something like this could really make him look better and it'll bring attention to that right there. If you had a buck that was really wide, a head-on shot might be the best shot. This buck is narrow, but full of tines. So I'm probably gonna try to get him forward, lift him up, turn some tines like this, bring my bow in close to me and try to get everything in a shot just like that. The other thing you can keep in mind is don't be afraid to change the angles a little bit. So. In this case, a lot of times I have a camera just like this. I'm self-filming. So I have the camera reversed so I can watch what I'm doing. So I might tip this buck a little bit more forward like that. And then I might do this right here. Bring my bow in again, just like that. And I can definitely make a really cool photo just like that or a cool video. Don't be afraid to give your rack some movement look at the screen, change the angle some so you can see all of it. If you're always just back to the body like this, very different subject than being able to show 
really the beauty of that animal and all of the character just like this the tongue's tucked the other thing i'd recommend keep your face out of the tines you don't ever want to be back here like this so just come out to the side of the tines just a little bit and the other thing is wearing some gloves really helps because if all you can see is a big hand wrapped around this beam it's a it's a very different picture when you have a big hand holding like that versus being able to just kind of tuck those fingers back have some a little bit of camo shielding that and the only other thing that you could do to make this picture even a little bit better is i could shift myself over right here to where this rack is going to be in this skyline right here that's the other thing i could do that would really help it but what an awesome freaking buck and what a way to introduce you guys to the new knock 30 and mach 30 that's coming out from pse and hopefully you're able to get some awesome trophy photos with yours as well they're hitting dealers right now wow what a freaking stud i'm pumped pump pump pumped look at that so cool